What's up guys, Heat King here, bringing you uh, another manga chapter review slash reaction on this week's, well technically last week's, of Boku no Hero, chapter 344. I was right, it's 344, yay! Praise the sun. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we, we left a last chapter with... Uh, the heroes and the villains confronting each other. A very big sort of Avengers Endgame moment. Man, that makes me want to see the movie now. Uh, but yeah, we ended up with that. And uh, it was it was pretty spectacular. Ayuma basically, Ayuma basically betrayed all for one, revealing that it was all a trick. Uh, it was all a ploy to lure all for one out. And we're now into the, basically the final battle. Now this chapter... I pretty much said last chapter as well, I pretty much said uh, in, uh, about the last chapter that we would most likely get a flashback detailing what the overall plan is, that some things were going on, and this chapter is basically that. It goes into a whole lot of detail into explaining how uh, and why they managed to lure all for one out and do this plan, and why it's going pretty well so far. Now, if you guys remember the uh, one of the uh, arcs that we had, which was the uh, class, I think 1B versus uh, 2B was it? Uh, which was like, uh, we had it in season 5, was it, I believe, recently? And so many people were complaining like, oh, this arc is boring, oh, this arc is pointless, oh, this arc offers nothing. And I remember Hor uh, Horigashi saying, no, no, this arc would be very important for the final arc. And he was right, he was right, because two of the characters from that arc end up having, uh, major re you know they, they end up having played a big role in terms of what happens in this chapter and what happened previous chapter as well so yeah yeah guys ne never ever doubt a story creator when they tell you oh no this is going to be important for later on because it most likely is even if it's even if you think it's going to be small or just a few characters it this ended up being very important so yeah we start we start the chapter with uh uh, of All Might pretty much explaining uh, to with the detective there as well. I, I, yeah, last chapter I also said that uh, All for One got a quirk ability from from the from someone, and the descendant of that person is helping All Might. I believe I believe the detective is the descendant of of whoever's quirk from his family got stolen by All for One. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I didn't realize that for some reason. But yeah, we got All for Might pretty much explaining how All for One uh, operates. Uh, the students are obviously living at the uh, Troy base right now. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, so he pretty much says that it's highly unlikely that they're going to be able to find him during their searches, which makes sense. Uh, so, the big gist, you know, with All Might, he says, and um, what does he say here, like, what's, what's going on here? In order to draw out that cunning coward, we need to give him a sense of security, yeah, which is pretty much what they did. They made it look like, and they knew. They knew, apparently, about the infiltrators, I believe. Uh, they, they knew what their aim was in terms of, like, uh, trying to get um, Midoriya out from there and isolating him or something and just, uh, you know, making it in a way where he might want to leave and, uh, you know, be, be able to be cornered than that. But I did say this was going to be like a double reversal of a trap. Like, they were aware of things and that's why they did what they did. Like, it's an Uno reversal trap, essentially. Uh, you know, we go in thinking, oh, Troy, damn, like, someone's going to infiltrate them, when in reality, they are pretty much aware of everything that is happening, like, and it's them pulling the trap on, on the villains. And that's pretty much what this chapter is. It, it's a big revelation of, oh, yeah, you, you thought you were trapping us? You thought you were playing game mind games with us? No, 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 it was us. We're one step ahead of you, you dumb, 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 uh, B... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's what happens, and uh, yeah, it, it's pretty fun. Uh, we got the revelation that uh, Ayoma is pretty much like helping them at this point. So it's like you know, Deku's like getting all excited. Like then Ayoma Kone is, and and you've got Orochanka and, and the other females. Like I'm so glad. But then you've got uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Momo, Momoma, I think. Uh, but don't you rem don't you remember? That Ayoma's son's father said that if they even do as even do as much as lie, they would be killed. Uh, all, f all for one who must have a way of distinguishing whether someone is uh, lying or not. And besides, wouldn't that uh, paint a target on the Ayoma family's back? So yeah, they make a good point there. And I think I I I uh, I was always the one who also came up with uh, some of the plan. Like Eraser had a proposition it could potentially boost the chances of Ayoma can join out all for one. So yeah, so yeah, this is I was always plan as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, my mom are making some, uh, you know, good points, and then we get the big revelation of, uh, 
Well, I'm not going to go into it all. Not going to. We find out why uh, Ayoma's parents were able to lie to All for One and him not being able to detect it. And it should have been the most obvious thing in the world because if you go back and look at the chapter again, you'll notice that their eyes are somewhat blank. Almost like I think someone's taken control of them. So that was the first bloody hint. And who could do that? Who could potentially control a person's mind? And it, it's Shinsu. It's Shinsu. He comes in. He's got this kick-ass outfit now. He's got the freaking bands like Awizawa. Like, oh man, I love this character. I really do love this character. Ever since he was first introduced and we, and we learned what he's done, like his dilemma and arc was, it was like, ah, oh, no, you, you know, you're not going to be a villain. Like, you can be a hero. You can use this power to do good. And he's using this power to do good. And basically, we, we find out that uh, throughout his training, his quirk has basically upgraded. So he's able to take control of people's minds and make them do, make them say what he wants them to say. And that's essentially what he's done. He took control of Ayuma's parents and he made them a a essentially lie. But, they're, you know, because because they're in control, they're not aware that they're lying. So therefore, the you know, uh, all for one's quirk, you know, lie detector wouldn't work because there is no hint of a lie there. These guys aren't afraid or scared because they're not really, you know, their personality, their, their attitudes aren't really there. They're just doing what someone's telling them to do. Like, like a zombie, essentially, so they can't really lie. There can be no fear there. There can be no, Nothing can be detected. And, uh, yeah, all for one fell for that. And it's thanks to Shinsu here. Like, it's great. So, yeah, and, and, and one of the things that make this chapter uh, so good as well, like, uh, like he says, I was going to transfer over to the Hero Coast in April, so just thought I had to train to keep hard, to keep over everyone. Uh, that's why I managed to push the limits of my quirk through training. Who would have thought it would be news like this? I can do this. If I brainwash Ayuma and his parents and make them talk, then my intentions and their emotions will not interfere. Yeah, so we get that revelation. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've got, you've got, are you joining class A or class B? What's your hero name? Choose class A, please. Like, everyone's like, come to us, come to us. And it's like, I would like for Shinzu to join class A, but I, I think at this point it's like, no, like, like, like give class B someone of their own, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, oh man, uh, so we also get this revelation I think from the detective as well, as, as Shinsu doesn't have his provisional hero license yet, I had to ask permission from Mera Yukimiro, uh, the chief of the hero safety commission, so yeah, they had to ask permission for him to be able to do this on people, I guess, uh, because it, it is a form of manipulation, uh, uh, I, think, I, I think, I don't know if the detective said this, or the principal said this actually, but yeah. But then you got uh, what's his name? You got uh, Dark Shadow here. Uh, how do you say his name? Like he's got a long ass name. But the problem is, what do we do after all that? After drawing him out, do we plan on bagging them all at once? Is that even possible? If he blah blah blah, there's no way they won't find out. If there's no one there, they'll never. F if there's no one there, they'll never find out. So yeah, this is this is where they end up uh, getting uh, Kuragiri involved because you know last chapter ended with the heroes coming out of portals as well like that is Kuragiri's ability so how did that happen and uh, we get the next big reveal which is uh, M M Monoma the the phantom thief basically so if I remember correctly this guy can take uh, people's abilities for himself so he's essentially like sort of like rogue basically he can take the ability and use it himself if I'm correct right so you got always always saying this is a request from All Might and the others. This is the most important role in this fight. We got the other big hero there. I think who we'll trained him. Can you do this? And you got you got this guy like this guy who's been so annoying throughout all of his appearances. Really like trying to hype up his own class because he's jealous of class you know class A. And now he's here and he's actually going to be useful, which is great because we want this guy to be useful. You know like after all that big talk, he can finally do something. And this is major as well. So yeah, the fact that he's able to do what they're asking him to do, it's like, he's like, are you seriously asking me to proficiently use this person's quirk in a mere few days? This is a joke. And I was, I was like, I apologize. My voice, my voice couldn't reach it. Plus, I don't even know if he's Kuraguri or Shirakoma anymore. So yeah, big sad audio there for hours. I'm hoping they resolve this Kuraguri thing. Um, I hope they figure out a way to save him or at least get get this sort of moment where the character can have a release of, of all of this like and I am and I am almost incapable of using a, a, a ratio a, 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 how do you say this a ratio a ratio anymore with just one eye in the next war I will be unable to do anything 
So yeah, always always putting himself down, but you've got a, a, a Mo, Monomar pretty much like up in it. He's uh, helping him up a bit, like uh, revealing that that during the Junko incident, it was Aizawa who was responsible for saving a, a lot of lives and stopping at least a like, complete destruction, like, which is true because if it wasn't for him, things would have been a whole lot worse. Yes, people died. Uh, remember, I think one of the I think a hero died saving Aizawa, like mainly like because he knew how important he was but uh you know but uh no you know always always shouldn't be putting himself down he did prove useful in the end like he did save a lot of lies and you, the fact that uh momono is saying that like it, it's nice it's a nice way to encourage him and now he gives himself a little prep dog in terms of you know what i've been taught my whole life you can't become a superhero with that quirk that's the quirk of a of a side character and then you got that uh, main big hero, I don't know what his name is, like putting his arm around him and he's like, this plan would have never worked without everyone's help. There is no such thing as a side character. You never were and you never will be. So we got, uh, we, we jump back to the present basically. We got that hero base, I forget his name, sorry guys, there's too many characters to keep track of. You got that big hero basically telling him that, yeah, you're not a side character, like, you're, 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 a, you're, a, you're a protagonist, basically. I think that's what the name of the chapter is, protagonist, and it refers, it basically, I would argue refers to him as well, but it refers to everyone. Everyone is the protagonist of their own story. And, uh, you know, no, no one is small, you know, and that's one of the things I'm, I'm liking about this uh, setup for this final fight right now. Everyone is proving to be useful in some big or small way, and the fact that Shinsu and um, um, Momona, uh, like these two characters, you think wouldn't play a big role, ended up playing a big role just for this chapter is is pretty bloody amazing and stunning. So, yeah, we got this moment where he's coming out of the pool as well. Uh, we get this little flash page of a lot of heroes. Endavar, uh, he's he's a sidekick. Uh, uh, Merkel with that big prosthetic robotic arm, a bunch of other heroes, you got Deku, like Deku's already there, like they're jumping behind him, uh, like it's just, oh my god, and he's laughing, ha, ah, fixer, like you are the protagonist, uh, and yet it's nuts, because you, you look at the villains, right, there's a lot of villains there, there's a lot of villains compared to the number of heroes, like, but it's crazy that they're all being in this car park, but like, it's just, it's just insane. And then we get we get All Might, who's in this building observing this fight from like computer screens. He's like the guy behind the screens, like seeing all of this, like giving the commands. And holy crap, it's awesome! It's so awesome. So yeah, yeah, we we the heroes and villains. We cut to the present and basically halfway through the chapter, and things are going insane. Uh, All Might doing his uh, best sort of a uh, Q impression, basically like, yeah, I'm the guy behind there giving the orders. Like, let's do this, and that's great. That's a great position for him. Like, he knows all for one. He knows how he works, and and he's trained these kids. He knows them best. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's nice to see that All Might at least is helping out in in a technical aspect. Now, I will say this though. I will say this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad that I'm not seeing some villains here involved because I was really hoping to see a gentle criminal, La Brava, uh, Stain, and maybe Overhaul getting involved somehow or in some ways. So I'm still hoping that happens. Like I'm hoping those characters aren't forgotten because I feel like they were supposed to be set up to sort of come back and redeem themselves for the final arc. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers we see those characters play a big role as well. No matter how small or big, but at least important, do you know what I mean? So fingers crossed here. Um, if he is able to steal one for all, he'll no longer need to keep running and hiding. He intends to end it all here. So yeah, we get, we get, uh, what's his name? Uh, Shigaraki coming through as well. He's touching the ground and he realizes something. And then, and he's like, Darby, don't, and Darby's like, don't tell me what to do, leader. He's going in for this big attack. I didn't think I'd meet you here, my dear father. Should I start with your allies at cremation? And he shoots off flames, but then ice comes in and stops it. And we've got, because we, yeah, we were wondering where the uh, where the class heroes were. We were wondering if maybe they're, they're doing something else, but no. No, they're just the late entry into this. The heroes, the main heroes, came in first, followed by the uh, successors, basically. Like, the predecessors, followed by the successors. The future, if you will. Old and new, joining up together. And we've got, we got, uh, uh, we got uh, Shota coming in. And he's like, as if I let you, you stupid big brother. <laughs> and Dalby's just going nuts. Like, we got the heroes coming in. We got Shota followed by freaking Red Riot. Uh, and uh, uh, Bokugo in one picture. Yubiti. 
Um, and I think we see Ida as well uh, below there and, and a bunch of the other kids like jumping in and he's like, you know, Dobby sees this and he's getting excited like uh, showdown or like, like, it's just nuts. And you go over one just hovering in the air watching all these, all these insects crawling around that they plan on fighting it out in close quarters here. And then, and then we get the big revelation of what Troy actually is. Like, I told you this was an Uno reversal. I told you because the name is obvious. You don't, you don't, you can't tell me that this, this isn't some like big hit from Horigashi. You don't, you know, name your, you know, a place of safety Troy and expect us to think, oh yeah, someone's going to get betrayed. Someone's going to infiltrate. No, it's a reversal. Come on. We know what Troy is. We know what it stands. We know, we understand the symbolism. And for a story like this. It, it, it would make more sense that the heroes are going to be the ones pulling the strings, like... And that's exactly what happens, because you go, oh my god, System Troy on! System Troy on! And something crazy happens. I don't, I don't know what this is, I don't know what's going on, but I, I'm getting the impression here, like... Like, because you got these walls coming out of the ground, and it's trapping all the villains, like a cage, basically. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like the villains get caught, they get caught in it. And Awful was just like, he, you know, he must know we can break through these in a matter of seconds. Why put all of this effort into it? I, at first I thought that maybe, maybe Troy was like a giant robot and he was going to transform and just like, like go in there. But like, no, that's not what happened. Or maybe it will happen. I don't know. It could happen. Like, uh, but yeah, like it's crazy. Like, why put it? Why? That's it. That's it. That's it. I see what All Might was playing was. And All For One realizes what All Might's game is. And he's like, you got the detective there. We can do this, All Might. This time, surely. This is the plan that you and I, as well as everyone, worked so hard to achieve. It has to work. It has to work out. We tried to bring him down once before. Your stomach was destroyed back then, but you are still alive, and so am I. This time, for sure, All Might. And he's like, yeah. And uh, we, yeah, we get this whole, uh, we get we get the heroes and we get this revelation like branch away from UA, branch away from Troy as well. All of this is necessary for the plan. Build up his confidence, drag him out and then, and then like uh, Momon's like fixer. So I don't know, everyone, everyone now. And he's like everyone now. I don't know what's going on here now, like imprison them. So yeah, they, they hear, the villains are imprisoned. All of this did it work just to split us up. So to split them up, to imprison them and split them up. And it looks like there's a big portal being formed as well. So yes, Mamona is building this big portal. They've trapped the villains in these cages using the Troy system. I don't know what else it can do, but I imagine it's it's some pretty cool stuff, right? And Mamona is like everyone now, and like a big portal forms, like another Kurigori form. Like he's using Kurigori's quirk basically to do this. And it's sending the villains somewhere. So yeah, they're splitting them up essentially. That's what is going on. They're splitting them up, and we're probably going to get one-on-one -on -one fights now at this point. So... Holy crap, um, what a great chapter, no, just what a great chapter for these guys to get involved, and yeah, like, this is it, guys, we're entering the final fight, basically, or in this case, we're entering the final fight until we get the actual big fight, which is gonna be Deku versus All for One and Shigaraki, I am assuming, um, it's gonna be very curious to see. It's gonna be curious to see who's gonna take on all for one, actually. Like, who is gonna. It's gonna be Endeavor and the other heroes, maybe, like, teaming up. Like, because this is a guy you want several heroes to team up to fight. You can't do this one on one. That's not gonna work. But yeah, I'm imagining we're gonna get Shoto versus Darby, of course. Uh, Toga versus UBT. Ida, maybe, versus. I don't know. Where, where is Spinner? We didn't see Spinner in this, so obviously he's doing something, like. Uh, but yeah. Very curious to see what's going on, because uh, it looks like it's going to be a banger of a chapter next week, or in this case, this week. So yeah, looking forward to that, looking very forward to that. Uh, I hope you liked this chapter, guys. Uh, and remember, guys, as always, to like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I'm curious to see where all of this is going to lead to. Like, uh, I'm, ima I'm imagining next chapter, it's going to be the revelation of who's fighting who. Now, that's going to be the setup. And then uh, the next chapter after that is going to be, okay, now we start the fights and we get into it. So yeah, uh, things are looking exciting, like, can't wait, can't wait. And you have to keep in mind as well that this is apparently supposed to end in a year. So what, we get like, what, 40 chapters a year, right? So these fights can't last very long, correct me if I'm wrong, right? So yeah. Maybe, maybe like five chapters each or something, maybe even smaller. It really depends, because that's a thing to keep in mind now. How is Horogashi uh, going to do these fights? Are they going to be very quick? Are they going to be very long? Because if it's going to be long, then this manga is not going to end this year. It's not going to end by the time of this year. Most likely it's going to go into next year as well. But if it's going to be quick fights, then you're going to be like, ooh, maybe this is 
speeding rush perhaps. So yeah, keep that in mind, keep that because we've got a lot of villains to fight through and defeat. So yeah, I'm going to be very curious to see how they do this and how they pull it off. Um, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed that and I shall see, as always, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care.